bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. Hey viewers, Brad, proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with some GTA 5 videos. I unfortunately did not record Trevor's first encounter with Cletus. And so, you know, it, it's just some hunting and he, shooting at some coyotes and, you know, uh, satellite dishes, etc. It's not a big deal. And it's kind of boring. In this case, Trevor went out or is going to go out hunting with Cletus and will establish the hunting missions for GTA 5, which can be interesting and for some reason with this version, much more dangerous. And I will get into that once I do the mission with Cletus. And stay tuned, there's going to be some bonus footage after the main hunting with Cletus and the hunting mission that I am going to show you. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. Lead the way. <laughs> Here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll boat. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is his biggest defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Even with the greater detail and richer uh, renderings of the Series X, this is still a pain in the ass. That's why I really didn't like hunting in GTA 5. They probably could do without it, or at least do it better. Rockstar showed that they could do hunting really well with Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is just, yeah, I can't see anything. It's difficult as heck. further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him.
Give the whistle another blow. I'd park yourself there if I was you. You got him. Pull the trigger. Shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Probably should have done this during the daytime. Would have been easier to see. I'm going to fast forward through some of this because it does take a lot longer. And, you know, the mating pair, you can't shoot the doe. You only can shoot the buck. Wow, I compressed nearly five minutes of video. I probably should have just wiped and gotten to the point where Trevor does kill the buck. Steady wins the race. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Yeah, I'm just going to transition to this next one because it's another five, six minutes of walking around. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Yeah, hunting can be very dangerous, and now I'm going to show you what happened when I sent Trevor to do some hunting at the indicated uh, marker. Now, there is a camper, Trevor enters, and he can begin hunting. Sad part is you press on the D-pad to the left to use the elk call, and to the right to quit. Good thing it prompts you to, um, how shall we say, asks you, do you really want to quit? Because you're trying to call an elk. And yeah, this one was real easy. You're trying to call for an elk and you hit the button the wrong way. You would wind up quitting. 
At least it prompts you. Hunting and the hunting challenges are not part of the 100%, so you really don't have to do them unless you are a completist and you didn't kill Trevor. I'm going to fast forward to where hunting just got dangerous and it can be really dangerous. I'll show you why. There seemed to be an awful lot of cougars running around in the wilderness that can kill main characters. And yeah, they are basically one hit animal unless you can somehow round on them before they attack you and shoot them. Yeah, cougar gets a hold of you, you are dead. And now for the bonus footage that I promised you. Sometimes some odd random stuff happens, like the police are chasing someone and have a shootout with someone, which is what is just happening. I'm going to follow up the road for this police chase. There went an elk, damn it. Why wasn't I hunting? Anyway, this is getting interesting. And Trevor gets a free police car. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be informed when I post more great videos. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.